Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where I restore things and my grandfather is dead. Why did I say that? Welcome back to Workshop Simulator, everybody. Today, we're back out. I'm actually just kind of snooping around Grandma's house right now, seeing kind of what we're going to get into in this. That gets me excited. That's clearly something that needs to be restored. I know that needs to be restored. I kind of love that you already see what you're possibly going to restore. But yeah, let's get back out to the workshop here. And yeah, start again and hopefully make lots of money today because I would love to get some upgrades because uh, a lot of these processes are seriously difficult. If you missed the last episode, though, check out this thing. Yeah, you see that? I made that. I'm pretty proud of it if I do say so myself. Anyways, let's get over to the old computer here and see what we have to do today. All right, Pamela has a sewing box. Apparently the box was part of a set that came with a sewing machine. The machine itself is fine and grandma is still using it. Why? Why is there so many grandmothers in this game? Could I get a quote on the restoration and repairs? A million dollars, Pamela. I'm going to accept that and so are you. And one ring stretcher. What is up with the items in this game? Most of these things, I didn't even know sewing boxes were a thing. I thought you just used cookie tins. Last episode, we did a corn husker or whatever. Now we need a ring stretcher. All right, so yeah, I'm not going to read all of these, but yeah, I, I will gladly restore your ring stretcher because I know exactly how to do that. You know what? Let's do the ring stretcher first. I'm just very curious on what it possibly looks like. Well, I got to be honest, I didn't know what a ring stretcher would look like, but I totally understand what's going on here. You put the ring on here and then maybe something on top of it and just push it down. So that's pretty cool. Also, finally, the zoom in feature. It's a little buggy, but it kind of works. That's why I wasn't zooming in in my first episode for the record. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but sometimes it doesn't work. Anyways, let's get this thing uh, disassembled. This doesn't look too complex, but I think I said that on last time and it was absurdly complex. The corn husker or whatever it is that is. Uh, okay, so ring. How do I get the ring stretcher piece off? It looks like it would just come off right now. What the hell did I just pull out? Is that a ring? Can I keep that? All right, handle goes off. Gearing goes off. Oh, this isn't too bad. Okay, so it even shows how many pieces we had. 21. I believe the corn thing was like 35, so this should be a walk in the park compared to that. I really have to take off the plate? Okay, I guess I do. All right, so I'm, I'm going to use the spray this time. I'm going to spray this off with detergent. And then it's as simple as cleaning it with a towel. You know what? This thing actually looks pretty good considering I'm assuming it's ancient. I do dig the blue, so I'll probably keep it blue. And yeah, we'll just uh, repaint this thing and make sure it's obviously in working order. All right, lots of sanding later, and this thing's looking like, uh, well, a hunk of silver, essentially. And yeah, as I said, we're going to keep it blue. I do like the blue. It looks really nice. Assuming I have blue paint, I don't actually remember. I hope I can get more colors later, because there's really only a couple over here. Oh, yeah, we definitely have blue, which is purple. It was very confusing. I think I'll use this light sky blue, though. We shall see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It, it's, it's kind of the classic blue as well. I feel like a lot of things in, uh, like, the 70s were either brown or this light blue. This is also a very easy paint job. Obviously, only two things need to be painted. The handle was white before. I like that. I might actually paint the handle black. And we'll see how that looks. Let's just zoom in here and grab some of this dark color. Be very careful. But, hey, that isn't too bad. I mean, it's not perfect. Oh, damn it. Oh, now I used the wrong paint. Oh, my God. Why did I try and add detail? I thought that was the blue. All right, so we're just going to slowly go up till I hit the limit. Very hard to see where exactly your paintbrush goes because it's not obviously accurate to where the paintbrush actually is. That's as good as I'm going to get it with my tools right now. <laughs> All right, now for the fun part of reassembly and hopefully getting lots of money for this thing. I doubt there's going to be much money, but hey, I can dream. And is that it? That is indeed it. I got to say, definitely looks a hell of a lot better. I think that will be a happy client. And time for a lot of sanding. Uh, oh, God, there's so many drawers. Why does the sewing box have to be so big? Honestly, all I want to do is metal work, so this really bothers me that I have to do this. But uh, at least we should get some money for some upgrades. Oh my god. Oh no. I just saw the item progress. 168 freaking pieces? And it's all wood? I'm gonna be sanding all day. Like, I'm not even joking. If I have to sand every one of these pieces, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, so we're down to the shelving. That's 81 out of 168. Have you noticed how many trays are in front of me for this one? I, I've only had to do one tray before. I don't understand how to open it. This is like a magical box. Maybe the screw thing will work now. Oh, it's pro I have to get under the bottom. That makes sense. I don't like that it shows 
all the screws that are inside that I can possibly use. Because it makes it very hard to see what I'm needing to uh, take off. But there we go. We have opened it up. And now we just go down the layers, I guess. Oh, I can see the light. I can see through this freaking thing. Okay, take off these dowels or whatever they are. And I think aside from the paneling... Oh my god, we're good. Okay, okay, I am... I'm getting anxiety. This is this is what I, I have to tell myself. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to repair things. I didn't expect this amount of pieces. <laughs> the game just went from like a three difficulty to a nine difficulty over one episode. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like it's hard. It's just, do I have to do each try? Uh, I gotta do each tray. I guess the saving grace is these pieces are obviously very easy to work with. They're flat, so, um, yeah, there's not gonna be any nooks and crannies where I'm gonna have a difficulty figuring out where the dirt is. Really? You're gonna make me freaking do? What is that? Like, seriously? You're gonna make me do this? I have five trays to deal with and I, I have to clean a dowel? Play workshop simulator, they said. It will be relaxing. This is this is no longer relaxing. Can I go back to cleaning toy cars with five pieces, please? That would be fantastic. Oh, okay. So we're done tray number one cleaning. Um, the hell do I do now? Because it's not letting me sand, which I feel like I should definitely buy the sandblasting workbench. Oh, I have $15. I have fifteen dollars. I wonder why it doesn't want to show me the money. I have none. Okay, so do I? Do I? Do I bring the tray back? I guess. Or am I not done? Oh, I didn't even notice the tray changed in front of my uh, little eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> well, here we go. Tray number two. Wait, why does it say tray progress zero to five? Why does it say that? All right. Well, it does say item progress twenty-one out of fifty-eight. So I can only hope that the tray progress is a lie and the item progress is being very honest with me. You know what? Props to the attention to detail, though. This is where the legs were on the thing and obviously they didn't stain under the legs. So, I mean, the more I play this game, the more I appreciate how much clear time went into these things. Because with a workshop simulator, I mean, they could have just added a, a chair, some shelving units. No, they, they said, what are the weirdest items you can possibly repair? Let's add those into the game. I've, I've repaired a ring puller today. What the hell is that? Well, there we go. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have wetted the wood that we probably didn't even really need to do because it didn't look that dirty. But okay. Can I please go to the next station now? Yay. Now we get to... Oh, sand. Okay, it's only 46. Okay, there was a few metal pieces in there. So there it's less at least. It's still a lot. Well, how's your day going, everybody? I just spent 40 freaking minutes sanding fake freaking wood i took workshop class in high school and i don't think i've ever spent 40 minutes sanding in my entire life in real life holy crap oh i'm just glad it's done uh, i was hoping i didn't have to paint it I, I actually do like the look of just natural wood i really wish i didn't have to paint it or at least i could stain it do i really have to paint this of course i do okay sweet okay well um you know what screw you you're you're getting every color of the freaking rainbow oh no Oh no, it's it's slower. I thought sanding was the slowest. Painting is the slowest. Okay, well, I'm gonna lose my mind by the end of this episode, but that's okay. That's what you're here for, right? To watch me suffer. I'm obviously just mostly kidding. I am still having very much fun, but this gets me very nervous of the future of this game. What am I gonna do next? Spend five hours on something? Uh, there we go, the final piece, and then all I gotta do is assemble it. One thing is for certain, I am gonna get PTSD if I ever have to hear the word sewing box in my life now. <laughs> I did not expect that. Look at it, though, it's so pretty. Oh, all right, now we just gotta do the simple task of reassembling everything. Okay, I'm just gonna click and hope for the best. I have to say yellow was an awful idea. I cannot see where the screws are usually. It's taking me... Like, look at that. If it's uh, underneath the yellow, I can't see that. I I mean, you can kind of, but my God. All right, it's starting to come together now. I even got the handle on. I gotta say, 
<laughs> I didn't know what it would look like with all the random colors, but I kind of love it. Don't forget your legs. Dude, this looks so cool. Uh, why are they all blue? I, I For, you know, doing random colors, a lot of these things tie in together. Like the whites are beside each other, the uh, teals. So yeah, we have one side of blue and then the ugliest shades on the other side in brown. Great. All right, hopefully the other side looks a little bit better. Oh, black. Great first color to choose. Yep, fantastic. At least they're different this time. All right, but honestly, I love this. It looks so happy. I'm not happy, though. I'm just happy it's gone. <laughs> I swear to God, if I get like $20 for doing that, I am going to freaking sue. Uh, oh, wait, I did. Oh, a claim. I'm, am I supposed to claim? I already claimed them. Damn it. Are you serious? All right, how much? It doesn't even tell me how much money I get. I hate this. I hate this so much. All right, so if we hover over these, these are the only way I know how to see my money. Okay, I have $70 now. So I probably got like $40 for that. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to even get an upgrade today. Oh, uh, great. My grandma's emailing me again. Uh, looks like she wants me to fix something else. We could give a new shine to some other things of Jacob's that bring back warm memories. Oh, that's kind of cute. Do you remember the old sword? Yes! We used to have in a case. I hung it above the fireplace, not really knowing where else to put it. I remember Marcy wanting to take that thing down when you were little, saying you might hurt yourself. Yada, yada, yada. Fix the sword. Gladly. I mean, I know a sword doesn't have too many pieces, so it's no sewing box, at least. The only downside is I don't think I get paid for Grammy Graham's jobs, so, uh, yeah. I, I guess I'm just poor in this game, regardless of how hard I work. Okay, but I gotta assume you have to be easier, right? This has to be easier than that massive box. With six pieces, I, I would say so. How is there even five pieces in the hilt here? Uh, okay, I guess that makes sense now. All right. This is this is more what I expected. Look at that. We're done. That would have took 40 minutes with the sewing box. Oh, this is more like it. This is the relaxation I wanted. This is, this is fun again. <laughs> and wipe it off. Still extremely rusty, but that's okay. We're going to grind the hell out of this thing with sandpaper. Because I can't afford the freaking grinding station. Oh, I got the, the exclamation mark here. Ah. Oh, oh, it's... I, want, I don't want to buy it, though. Do I have to? When it gives me the exclamation mark, I feel like I should. But the sandblasting workbench, we're not even close to being able to afford that. You know what? Let's get one upgrade today, I guess. Oh, I guess we'll buy number two and use the angle grinder oh yeah oh yeah oh, wait 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 what oh there we go oh that's super pleasing you know what i think this was a good purchase i hope we have lots of metal working to do because this is gonna make my life way easier i do like that the patina is mostly staying on because obviously you don't really want that to go off we shouldn't be grinding this to begin with but hey whatever all right and it also wants me to buy the airplane oh Oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. We may as well get the small tools first. They are cheaper. Wait, why, why am I over here if I can't paint any of this? Why did I buy this? If I Why did it give me an exclamation mark? Oh, uh, well, I mean, yeah, we, do, we definitely don't want to paint a blade. That would just be weird. So look at that. We'll just quickly put this back together. And bam. Oh, that looks so good. Honor, I something. I'm not sure what language that is, but man, the detail of this sword is pretty nice. Oh. Mm, just a little more. Hey, kid. What are you doing over there? Oh, uh, nothing, Grandpa. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Hunting for cookies, are we? I just wanted the sword. The sword? Oh, that's a saber, boy. Not a plaything. It's sharp, and you could hurt yourself. Sorry, Grandpa. Uh, I'll show it to you. Promise me that you won't try to play with it, okay? I promise. Oh, <laughs> so your great-grandfather used it. He was an Ulan in the Polish Oh, army, well, there we go. You know? It's Polish, clearly. Ulan? Yeah. Come, sit here with me, and I'll tell you the whole story. Ah, oh, what a happy little memory. And would you look at that, looking so much better in the house now. Oh, okay, guys, I think that's a good time to wrap up this episode here. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my satisfying suffering. Uh, yeah, so, uh, in all seriousness, guys, I do absolutely love this game. And I can only appreciate the fact that a simulation game is extremely difficult, as it should be. If you're playing a game like this, you want that detail. So, yeah. Uh, kind of spent all my money, so I don't think we'll be getting these, these big upgrades anytime soon. But if you guys are enjoying this, I would love to do more of it. And, uh, hopefully no more sewing machines, though. Or, sorry, sewing boxes. So, yeah, once again, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.